Hey there, fellas. I've got a question for y'all. Are you struggling to find yourself an ice base location? If so, you're in the right place, because in this video, I'll be helping you through the struggle of finding a place to settle down to live the rest of your life in Project Zomboid. Just before I start listing off all those locations, though, I want to say that all these locations mentioned here will vary in their effectiveness and all that jazz. And you may find some other base location I may not mention here end up being better for you in the end, which is to be expected. Anyway, with that out of the way, without further ado, let's get to listing off all these base locations. So the first one is a very well-known base location that I've seen a lot of beginners and semi-experienced players settle in. That location being the Rosewood Fire Department. This place has a lot of upsides, one of them being the gigantic garage with a room full of tools and weapons and whatnot. Upstairs, you'll find yourself two bedrooms with a lot of beds, a decent-sized kitchen, and a comfy living room. This base offers just a lot of space for yourself to build a big storage room to store your goods. I recommend this base location very much if you're a beginner, as this place is inside Rosewood, which is probably the safest town in the entire game. Now that the downside I'm about to talk about is really not too noticeable unless you live there for a very long time. That's that since it's a very small town, eventually you're gonna run out of loot to grab and have to resort to becoming heavily self-sufficient, having to grow, fish, and hunt your own food, and whatnot. But this may not be a problem for many, as that's basically the end game of Project Zomboid. Okay, now the second base location is great for people who just like long-term projects. If you're a dedicated carpenter or a metal worker, you're gonna probably and I mean probably enjoy living in and fixing up this abandoned factory that is not too far off from Riverside Trailer Park. This place is gargantuan though, so it'll take a very long time to install all the new doors, barricade all the windows and whatnot. After that though comes the hard part and that's related to the amount of time you use up traveling back and forth between all the major locations from this base to any major points of interest you could loot. Of course, excluding the Riverside factories, that place is very much nearby, but you will be mostly coming across construction supplies and lots of tools, and if you get lucky, some seeds to plant some crops, which will come in very handy and save you the worries of having to travel around the map for scraps of food. Now, for another well-known base location that almost everyone has used at one point, and that's West Point Mansions. This base location is a popular one for a reason. It is secluded and very safe. You got access to a lot of options to become self-sufficient, like river and a nearby lake to fish for food, the vast forests for trapping and foraging, and all this package of usefulness is basically sat down next to West Point, just in case you ever need a lot of loot. Ain't that just handy? Now for upsides and downsides, there really aren't a lot of downsides other than having to go on a road trip into West Point over some gas. But even then, you could choose this gas station as an alternative for gathering up some fuel if you don't want to deal with the West Point population. Now about upsides other than it having an ability to be a very much self-sufficient base is all the living space you have to yourself. For Christ's sakes, you got like three mansions all to yourself. It's a dream come true. Now it's time for yet another fire department, but this one here is in Louisville. It's on edge of the city and has a fair amount of space to live in. A couple of rooms in like a large living room and a small kitchen area alongside a bedroom. The first floor is with absolute treasure is at though, and that's the garage. It is just very big. It also has a room right next to it full of weapons and firefighting gear and whatnot. But other than that, the first floor doesn't really have anything else that is of any importance. Now. The issue with this place is a nearby Z population. There's quite a bit of them, to say the least, but in return, the surrounding area has some great points of interest, such as Grand Ohio Mall and many, many, many stores in this area, to the point you might never, ever run out of things to grab. Now, let's talk about this mansion in particular. This one, like these other two absolute peasants, has a small lake nearby, making it superior to the other two in every way. Though, the houses themselves aren't really too different, they're just a run of the mill mansions. They're all surrounded by metal fences though, which makes them very solid after base locations since you won't have to spend too many resources to build defenses. If you do not want to even use up one log to build up some defenses, you can always just ram your car in here and then you can be 100% sure that you are safe. Unless zombies know how to crawl under vehicles. 
Now, the one I'm going to be finishing off the list with, I rarely see being used despite it being a rather good location. That location being any of these houses near the road leading to Riverside Country Club. It has a lake nearby and some farmlands and forests you could forage in for some food or crops. The one issue that this place has is a surprisingly decent sized Z population. It's not Louisville by any means though, so it can be dealt with. In my opinion, the strength of this base location lies in its short distance between it and down on Palace Lake, making it a pretty good location to settle down in if you want a quick yet safe access to lots of great bounties that this town offers. Anyway, this is it for the video today. Hopefully, you enjoyed this video and felt encouraged to give some of these base locations a try. I will be very thankful if you liked this video and subscribed to my channel. Anyway, fellas, it's time for me to say goodbye. I wish you all a great day.